All right, guys. So uh, I'm gonna show you uh, how I had with my truck. This was the distributor problem I have. I had. So, uh, so here goes. Um, so uh, originally, my truck had the 305 in it, and being 1985, they had to pass emissions tests and regulations and stuff like that. So they had uh, a computer box under way, way back there under the dashboard. I'll show you in a bit, but uh, so they had computer boxes in. This this year wire went to that, hooked up to that, and uh, ran this to help this ran this distributor to uh, get more efficiency. Just like all this, I lift up this air cleaner hood cover here. Get that out of the way. Uh, like they have all these vacuum lines going everywhere. You know do a lot of things that are kind of confusing, you know, see all those vacuum lines, you know, a lot of people are going to shy away from that right away. But, um, see, what I what I was having, I was having, I wasn't having, getting spark. And it was because this wire here, I set this down right there, this wire here went to that computer box. Uh, that must be the, the problem. So we called the parts store, and it was like a $40 part. We're like, you know, but we can do something different. So, have a lot of uh, old Chevy parts laying around, you know. So we uh, took a distributor out of a 1979 van, and that had instead of all of this down to like around the shaft right here. So since it ran off the shaft, it ran off of itself, which it didn't need that computer box. So once I put that new distributor in there, it worked. So that was the problem. I don't know if. If you're having a problem with your Chevy, it'd be, it would apply for either 305s and 350s, because this is a 350. It originally had a 305. I'm sure this was from a 305. He just switched it over because it's easier, because then you got all your computer box and all that kind of stuff. You don't have to re-engineer all that. But um, nothing against the original or anything. Just, you know, I, I get it, you know. Sometimes some things are easier and some things that there aren't, you know. That, that's just the way things work. But um, I was just glad we had the parts laying around and we figured it out. So that was the problem with my Chevy uh, 350. Uh, no spark. But yeah, I'll show you that computer box real quick here. Right under the dash. Let's see, here, I'll turn the light on. Can't kind of see here. Let me turn another light on here. You can kind of see way up back there, right there, that box where that distributor went, that little wire in that distributor went, and that either that failed or the part in the distributor failed. So we ended up passing that whole system and made it work with what we had. So that's my little spiel on the no spark system on mine. Hopefully this helps you if you're having the same problem. But that's about it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.